the market indicators out the way. I think we need to still continue talking about this issue of decriminalizing sexual intercourse um, in the youth, which uh, we chatted about in the first hour with Professor Anne Skelton. Some organizations, mostly faith-based groups, have criticized this bid and say it will encourage teenagers to engage in sex more. Do you believe, do you agree in that as well? Well, the teddy bear clinic for abused children say criminalization leads to labeling and secondary trauma. Joining us now is Dr. Shahida Omar from the teddy bear clinic. It's good to have you. Thank you very much for joining Thank us. Thank you for having me, Leah. I mean, your, your stance is, is clear as daylight. I mean, you want this to be decriminalized immediately. Indeed. I think if we just go back and, and look at what criminalization resulted in, it was more harmful and counterproductive. It resulted in an increased incidence of teenage pregnancies. It resulted in, in you know, humiliation, uh, shame, and secondary trauma, as you so rightfully indicated. We found that these children were actually coming back for therapy. There were signs of post-traumatic stress disorder, uh, signs of depression, and, and other forms of trauma that was manifested by these children. I think one needs to understand that criminalization uh, has been actually very harmful. It yeah. has resulted in an increased incidence of HIV, other infections, uh, incomplete abortions, where previously, uh, you know, TOPs, people would, children would go to the state. But again, where the legislation stood that it had to be reported and children would then have to enter the criminal justice system, face the possibility of uh, brutal interrogation by the police, sometimes arrests, uh, detention even, and even appearing in court before the magistrate. And all of this was very intimidating, very threatening, uh, and certainly not helpful to the well-being and the best interests of the child. So currently as it stands now, it's a criminal offence for a child to engage in sexual activities. And we're talking the ages of um, 12 to 16. Is that, is that, that correct? That is correct. So the, the legal age is at 16 years old in South Africa Absolutely. to engage in sexual Absolutely. I think that is what one needs to understand. We are not asking for lowering the age of consent. The age of consent remains at 16, at 16 years, 16 old. years old. So what are you asking for? We are asking that the state and, and in, we are asking for an intersectoral collaborative effort where we shift from punishment, not to have a punitive approach, but to actually look at prevention and helping children make positive and informed decisions. And when I speak about the intersectoral collaborative effect, uh, effort is that we need to have a shared responsibility where everybody works together. It's systemic intervention on different levels. Yeah. Responsibility needs to be given back to parents or primary caregivers, Department of Education, Department of Health, all the government departments working together because as, as we speak, the leg pieces of legislation as they exist are in contradiction with each other. Um, they do not promote the best interests of the child. Yeah, yeah. So what, what basically, in a nutshell, if a 12-year-old um, a girl and a 13-year-old boy are having sex and it is consensual sex, that is fine, according to the law. But according to the law right now, if they are caught having sex, they could be arrested. Indeed. That now, you don't want that to be the case. We don't want that. You would rather the parents or somebody else deal with them. Uh, parents and everybody else that we Deal look at, we, we ensure that these children get the best possible support, advice, guidance, and, and that they are able to access resources yeah. instead of going underground and resulting in 
in devastating uh, consequences. Yeah, indeed. I, so I, you know, there's still so many sides to this argument that needs to be had. And these short interviews are not doing it. Dr. Shahida Omar from the Teddy Bear Clinic for Abused Children uh, talking to us about why they believe that it needs to be decriminalized. And I can understand why from their perspective. But also just, you know, a lot of children using it. Well, you know, it's not against the law. What I'm doing is absolutely fine. I don't see a problem with it. But the results... Oh, it changes your life. Just that one moment can change your life forever. But anyway, you write to us. Let us know. Morning Live, SABC. It's a long conversation to be had.